Hello, my name is Asila Ahmedova. I'm 26 years old. I was born in Xlarda, Chile district. Uh, recently, I graduated Nazarbayev University School of Medicine with medical degree. Currently, I'm studying dietetics. I am interested in dietetics since I believe that by our daily habits, for example, by controlling our daily food, we can prevent multiple serious diseases, including diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. My journey in science started from Kazakh Turkish high school. There I participated in multiple science-related competitions. Uh, later, my pathway in science continued at Nazarbayev University Biology Department. There I did several internships, uh, studied rheumatic arthritis, Later, at Nazarbayev University School of Medicine, I did research on the topic of autism in Kazakhstan. Uh, in science, I'm interested in medicine as a medical graduate. Also, uh, I'm uh, passionate about preventative medicine. Uh, prevention is always better than treatment. Good afternoon, dear friends. Recently, I feel tired and weak. I don't want to do anything. Maybe I'm just lazy. However, I have pale eyelids, pale skin. My fingertips are cold. My heart is racing. I have low appetite, but I, ha I have craving for dirt. It sounds gross, but it is tasty. Also, I have few red blood cells, small in size. So what's going on with me? Thus, I decided to visit my physician. She told me to change my lifestyle, especially diet. She recommended to eat more beans, more dried fruits, more seeds and nuts, manganate, meat, and leafy greens. She also prescribed me iron supplements. Along those foods, she recommended to eat food rich in vitamin C since it helps to absorb iron. After following her recommendations, after about three months, I wasn't sleeping all the time. I was energized like a superwoman. So when I revisited my physician, she told me that I had a condition called iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency anemia is one of the most common types of anemia worldwide. The major cause of iron deficiency anemia is the inadequate intake of iron from our nutrition. When there is iron deficiency, our bone marrow cannot produce enough hemoglobin, which is protein in red blood cells that carry oxygen. Imagine in one red blood cell, there is about 270 million hemoglobin. So uh, consequently in an anemia, red blood cells cannot carry enough oxygen through our circulatory system to our tissues and the organs. And this condition is called hypoxia. In healthy, normal, person blood contains a lot of healthy red blood cells, large in size and which carries sufficient amount of oxygen. Luckily, I had a mild anemia and was able to correct my condition with thorough diet and the food iron supplements. If a person has moderate to severe type of anemia, it can take a lot of time and effort to manage and treat the condition. Even blood transfusion can be needed. If you suspect iron deficiency anemia and has signs and symptoms as a head like tiredness, weakness, please make sure to visit your physician since prevention is better than treatment. Thank you. Thank you, Asael. Um, we really enjoyed it. Now probably I have to go and stop eating the soil and eating the iron vitamins. <laughs> okay, thank you. And we have our judges. Uh, can you please uh, turn on your unmute yourself? And uh, you have a, oh, so Artur, uh, I see, so I unmuted you, and Jonathan. So if you have any question to Asel, uh, you can ask her one to three questions. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yes, sure. sure. Um, how, how common is this problem? Do a lot of people have iron deficiency? About one third of world population has iron deficiency anemia. One third. Okay, thank you. Especially population from low income countries because of lack of the proper nutrition, healthy nutrition, also women of child bearing age and their children. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Asif, for your presentation. I was also curious about the scope of the problem, um, about the prevalence. And, um, 
of, of, of anemia, I, I wonder um, what are the, there's definitely in moderate and, 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 and the more difficult severe cases of anemia, the quality of life, I guess, degrades and suffers quite a lot. How about, how about, how about um, uh, economically for a country, for a government, um, what kind of health costs does this potentially carry? Is there a point for governmental act on uh, this matter? Um, in Kazakhstan particularly or worldwide, uh, um, it doesn't matter if you where, wherever you feel the expertise to elaborate on. Mm -hmm. If you feel more comfortable mm -hmm. speaking on Kazakhstan, then uh, that would be the better answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, in Kazakhstan, uh, government-wise, I don't think there is some programs, uh, but uh, more preventative methods are uh, done for childbearing pregnant women, especially if they have like uh, anemia during pregnancy. Doctors recommend to take iron supplements or infusions. And uh, also ch if children has anemia, uh, doctors, usually doctors are the uh, main people who tell what to do. And the unfortunate thing in Kazakhstan, I think, uh, in, er, like everywhere, ma many people are uneducated and uh, they don't uh, treat, the, uh, they don't uh, put so much uh, if, uh, attention to their health. So they don't uh, eat proper diet, don't do sports. So it all affects their condition and the, uh, it can lead to iron deficiency anemia. So government wise, um, uh, we can do like promotion of good diet, like uh, a lot of uh, fruits, a lot of vegetables, rich, not only one apple, but uh, for example, five types of fruits per day, for example, yes? Uh, that's, I think, the answer. Thank you for your answer. And uh, thank you. Aisana, do you have a question? Hello, uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, my question is, uh, what are the long-term uh, side effects of iron deficiency? Mm, like, is there some correlation with other more severe diseases? Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, iron deficiency anemia can lead to complications such as shortness of breath, uh, uh, severe, if the cause is, causes can be uh, severe bleeding also, if there is severe bleeding, we should stop uh, the cause of bleeding. For example, if the person has like uh, stomach ulcers, we should first investigate properly what's the main cause, whether is it is diet related deficiency or other like, uh, as I told, like uh, health chronic disease related conditions that lead. So other complications can be uh, uh, tachycardia, irregular heartbeat, which can lead to heart problems, yes, for example. And uh, also um, weakness, overall low quality of life because of lack of energy, a person cannot concentrate. I personally had uh, iron deficiency anemia and uh, I was sleeping all my lectures and uh, I wasn't like keeping up with my um, like uh, lessons and uh, it also affected negatively on my studies. So main uh, complications, examples of complications I think are those. Mm -hmm.